Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, depending on where and when you are watching this newscast. Welcome to This is the Week That Was in Virtualization, Cloud and EUC, brought to you by the Virtualization Practice. I am Tom Howarth, and welcome to the latest of our news roundups. First, the headlines. HPE is spinning out their technical services division and selling it onto CSC into a fist 50 venture. Citrix have tied themselves ever more closer to Microsoft and have announced that they are using Azure as their public cloud of choice. Other announcements from Synergy were that ZenApp 7.8 is now GA. ZenApp published applications can now be integrated with SCCM. Nutanix have announced a partnership with Lenovo. HPE have unveiled a converged hybrid ProLiant server. So, HP is spinning out their technical services division and selling it onto CSC in a 50-50 venture. To get some head, three heads into this space, you need to think about the history of this, of the technical services division. In 2008, EDS were purchased in a very, very large deal, $13.8 billion, and they were integrated into the technical services division. At this time, HPE had a very good reputation for delivery, for technical ser technical adeptness, EDS not so. They may have had at the core a good reputation, but they were languishing in lots and lots of lawsuits, failure to deliver, they were losing contracts left, right and centre. Fast forward two years, HP, HP have integrated and HPE are now in trouble with this technical services division. They have taken on the culture of EDS which upset their, their customer base because they didn't want that sort of culture or else they would have gone with EDS in the first place. And they had to write off almost $8 billion of value for their technical services company. It seems that that malaise has stuck and now they are offloading it to CSC en masse. HP will continue and they will focus basically on their hardware and software divisions. Now what is interesting is they're only basically doing a 50-50 merger so HPE will keep some of the equity or 50% of the equity in this company which means that if it does become a success and CSC manages to change the culture of EDS in a way that HP couldn't then they're going to get quite a significant wedge because at its core there's a lot of good people at HP Technical Services and there's a lot of good people at CSC. It's mainly down to the culture and the fact that because of that culture they ended up with a nice little nickname of everything delivered slowly. I hope it works well. I have, as I said, I have a good lot of good friends in both of those divisions. Okay, so Citrix. Citrix just finished their annual conference synergy at Las Vegas. And they announced quite a few good things. Some of the things that uh, jumped out at me were that they have tied themselves ever more closely to Microsoft. Not to be unexpected. This is one of the longest, longest. Um, Cooperation type agreements between any major vendor. Citrix need Microsoft in a way that is, in some respects, quite painful. Their product is completely tied to terminal services, but it is a very good product. They've announced that Azure is their public cloud of choice. Again, a non, not too unexpected move their product will just work perfectly on Azure because it's based on Windows. But it also gives a little bit more power towards Azure because a major vendor has picked them as their public cloud of choice. So it's a little bit of a, a good win for both of these people. Synergy 7.8 is NAP, sorry. Synergy also announced that ZenApp 7.8 is GA. Again, a nice iteration to, to the version of ZenApp which was 
starting to recover the ground that it lost with the version 7.0 release that changed and deprecated a lot of features that many enterprises were using. This is an interesting one. Zenap published applications can now be integrated with SCCM. So you can have a single pane of glass to deliver your applications, be they published applications a la Zenap, RGS in terms of seamless applications, or whether they are AppV integrated packages, or plain old vanilla, old style packaged applications. It's a nice move. It means a single plane of single pane of glass and the operations team who deliver these packages out only have to deal with one interface now. Nutanix, they've announced a partnership with Lenovo. Again, a not too unexpected move considering that the Dell and EMC merger is due in three or four months in September after which I'm pretty certain that the best kept secret that has never been kept will actually become active and Nutanix and Dell will end their three or four year, three, three year relationship to sell OEM versions of Nutanix. Because at the end of the day, they're probably going to go more with the VX rail type product because it will keep it, keep the revenue generated within the family. So Nutanix had to have another OEM partner and Lenovo were the ones that came to the party. Why not HP? Well, it seems HP want to go out on their own and they've unveiled a converged hybrid ProLiant server that is aimed at the SMB market. An odd play for a company that has enterprise in its title, but again, it's a market worth venturing into because there are a lot more SMEs than there are LMEs and Fortune 5000 companies. Now what is interesting about this Converge Hybrid play is that it uses an English based company called Zinstra as the hybrid cloud. So that's an interesting play, be interested to see how it goes on. Okay, so news from our sponsors. Veeam have opened a facility in Bucharest and they've also extended their storage integration capabilities in Veeam availability suite to include Nimble. Now. This means that stories from HPE, NetApp, EMC and Nimble are integrated. Now this is huge for Veeam, but more so for Nimble as it validates their products against the leading virtualization based backup companies' products. Nimble are incidentally the first of the people to actually gain uh, integration within Veeam. Server have launched a SaaS based analytics product called Densify.com to enable densification and thereby de-risk hybrid cloud migration. Now, for those of you who are wondering what densification is, like I was before I found out what it was called, what it was, apparently it's the new marketing term for capacity plan. So this is the cloud world's version of capacity plan. So you live and learn people. The Manage, service, Manage Engine Service Desk Plus product has achieved ITIL compatibility status. This is huge for the products as it shows that all of their product is compliant with 100% with the general core and integration suitability requirements of ITIL general practice. That's a very, very good win for Manage Engine and well done to the development team to get that through. Prelert have partnered with Decision Labs to combine their leading behavioral analytics solution with Decision Labs expertise in elastic deployments now this is a good tie-in as we're creating more and more data by the second and without good analytics engine to sort and define there's no benefit of storing it. And finally, VM Turbo are again doing their VM World sweepstakes to give away two full conference passes to VM World. So have a trip over to their site and do what needs to be done. And you might be able to get a nice little trip away for you and one of your colleagues or one of your family members and have a nice little trip to Vegas for a couple of days. And they've also posted their 23rd consecutive quarter of record revenue, adding over 25 customers. So well done VM Turbo. Now, all that remains is to thank you for listening and to remind you that if you see something you think is newsworthy, please forward it to news at virtualizationpractice.com. I'm Tom Howarth and thank you for listening.